Hello, in this video we will discuss two quick problems which are tricky, seems to be very hard but damn easy to solve and those problems are on area and perimeter. Let's go. The first question, the shape below is made from four identical rectangles. What is the area of the shaded part of the shape? So for those who want to try on your own, please pause the video right now to try. Others, please continue watching. All right. We need to find the area of this shaded blue part. We don't need the area of the unshaded part. This is this one we don't need. All right. And they've also given a clue which says there are four identical rectangles. So this whole shaded figure is made up of four identical rectangles. All right. Let me uh, demarcate it like this. As you can see, this is number one. This is number two and this is number three. And this is number four. So this shaded part is made up of four identical rectangles. And what do you mean by identical? Identical means all the four rectangles have the same length and width. All right. So with this concept in mind, just have a closer look on this right rectangle, which is number three, this rectangle's length. So it's obvious that the length of this rectangle is seven centimeter. Fine. So I can say that if this rectangle's length is 7 cm, this means the length of all the rectangles is 7 cm, right? Since all the rectangles, all the four rectangles are identical, the length of all the rectangle is 7 cm. So we have found the length. So to find the area, the length is there. So we need to find only the width of the rectangle and we need to use this to find the width. Okay, so now look at this top part. Here, the whole length of this shape of this uh, whole figure is 11 centimeter. All right, but we are going to use this length 7 centimeter. We know that this length is 7 centimeter. So, which means the second rectangle's length here should also be 7 centimeter. So, this is what I have represented. If one of the rectangles length is 7 cm, since all the rectangles are identical, so this length should also be 7 cm. So if I'm subtracting with the whole length, which is 11, 11 minus 7, it gives me 4. And that 4 cm is to this either side of this rectangle, which is this side and this side altogether. So both these sides add together is 4. And since all are identical, I'm going to split this equally into two, which I'm going to divide this by two. Okay. So each of this length is two centimeter. This is two and this is two centimeter. I have represented it like this. This part is two centimeter as well as this part is two centimeter. So when you add these lengths together, you should get 11. So two plus seven, nine, nine plus two is 11. All right. So now when you look at this right rectangle again, it so obvious that this is the width all right so and this width is two centimeter so we have found that the width of the rectangle is two centimeter so now it's very easy to find the area so the area of the rectangle is nothing but length times width which is seven times two and that is 14 fine so now we we found the area of one rectangle and so the area of four rectangles it will be 14 times four so 14 times 4 is 56. 56 centimeters squared is the area of the four identical rectangles altogether. And that is the area of the shaded part. So that's how we come up with this answer. And the area of the shaded part of this shape is 56 centimeters squared. Fine. Now let's move to the next question. The area of this shape below is 36 centimeters squared. What is the length of this unknown side? So... For those who want to try on your own, please pause the video to try. Others, please continue watching. All right. So this is the shape that I have, they have shown. This is obviously a compound shape. It is made up of two rectangles. So let me assume this is the line. Okay. So I demarcate this line here. Fine. So you get one rectangle here and another rectangle here. This is the first rectangle and this is the second rectangle. Okay. So we need to find the area of both the rectangles and that area together is 36 centimeters square. But to find the area of the rectangle, we need to know the length of this shape. All right. So let me assume the length of this shape is X. So let me assume this unknown side to be X. 
So if I assume this, what should be the area of this rectangle, this smaller rectangle? It should be length times the width, right? So this is x and this is 3. So the area of this rectangle should be 3 times x. So 3x is the area of this rectangle and I have represented it like this. Now let's move on to this bigger rectangle. So for this bigger rectangle, it's the same as the smaller rectangle. We know the width is 3 centimeter, but we don't know what is the length. Here we know only this part of the length is 5 centimeter. We need to find this part, right? So how we can assume is since this total full path is x and this part is 1, all right? So how we get, to get this part? This is x minus 1, fine? So this side of the part is going to be x minus 1. Alright, so if I add the length, this length, that is the x minus 1 and the 5 centimeter, I get the length of this bigger rectangle. So the length is x minus 1 plus 5, which is x plus 4. That is going to be the length of the bigger rectangle. And we know that the width of the rectangle is 3. So what will be the area of the rectangle is? x plus 4 times 3 which is length times width. I have represented the area of the bigger rectangle like this 3 times x plus 4. So if I expand the expression I get 3 times x which is 3x and 3 times 4 which is 12 and this is going to be the area of the bigger rectangle. So how do I found the area of the whole shape is that I add this area which is 3x and I add the bigger rectangles area which is 3x plus 12 and that added together is 36. So as you can see I have added the first rectangle area which is 3x and the second rectangles area which is 3x plus 12 and that together add together it gives you 36. Alright so after simplification you get 3x and 3x which is 6x since you add 3 and 3 together and it, you get 6x. And when you move the 12 to the other side, it becomes 36 minus 12, all right? So 36 minus 12 is 24, all right? If 6 times x is equal to 24, then x is going to be 4. So x is 4, since 6 times 4 is 24. So now we have found that unknown side, which is x, and that is going to be 4. So which means this is 4, the total length is 4. All right, so I'm going to write it like this. The X is going to be 4. So what is what is X minus 1? That is going to be 3. Since X is 4, X minus 1 will be 3. All right, so we can also continue uh, checking the answer. So let's check whether we, we get the area of the shape. So first the area of the bigger rectangle we know now that the x is 4 so the length is 4 and the breadth is which is the width is 3 so 4 times 3 is 12. So the area of the rectangle is smaller one is 12. Now to find the bigger one you add the length which is 5 and this 3 which is 8 and when you multiply with the width which is 3 so 8 times 3 is 24. So this is going to be 24. So the area of the bigger rectangle is 24. And when you add these two, the smaller rectangles area and the bigger rectangles area, when you add these two together, you get 36. And that's how we come up with the answer. We have also checked the answer and that and hence the unknown side of this figure, which is X is going to be 4. And that's the answer. Thanks for watching.